In this video, I will show you how to test Move Recorder or on the video on a Mac that doesn't have any video device. So the basic first, of course, you need to go on our website and download a demo version from the download section. And you go here, support downloads. And there you can download Move Recorder, download Move Recorder 3. And you go also in the on the video section and download a single version of on the video 3. Once that is downloaded, unzip the file and just copy that to the application folder. There is no installation required whatsoever. So it's pretty easy. Once it's installed, you just have to start it, accept the license agreement. And here we are in the user interface of on the video, uh, which is a simple playlist. Um, now I will start also move recorder at once. I accept. And here we have our two application. I will just resize that so it, this it's a bit smaller. Okay, so you have here the two applications, on the video and move recorder. When I go in on the video, you will notice that if you go to the preferences, in the playback section here, I've got what we call a virtual output. And you see that the only a video output device that I have available on that computer and that in Move Recorder I have no source available yet. So what you will do is that you will configure your virtual output and you set it to the format that you want to use and apply. Okay, so a virtual output is something that you can use if you don't have any video output device. And now you go in your files, demo movies, and let's use these two files. I will put the playlist in chain and in loop. So I'm, I'm sure that the two clips will chain together and will play in loop forever. And now once I started the playback, you notice that in movie recorder appeared a source, which is called on the video. I can now enable the, the source on the video. So once it's enabled, it shows up in this pop-up menu and I can just select it. And here you have uh, what we call the direct link between on the video and Move Recorder. So you see here, I have a fully functional demo. I can both see what it does when I play clips and you see that it's playing right away. I can pause, I can preview everything. And also I can do tests and here in Move Recorder, I have no destination enabled yet. If I want to test, I need to enable at least one destination. You see there is one that is created by default. The default, the destinations I have are found here and you can create as many as you want. I can create another uh, QuickTime destination and select the settings that I, I want to use. But here, let's just enable that one. And here we go. And I'm currently playing out of on the video and the frames are directly sent from one application to the other and Move Recorder receives the frame uh, video and audio in order to be able to record it. And if I go and have a look at the file, you see that it's an editable ingest file that I can play immediately. So this is quite amazing because that's a laptop here without anything connected there. So I have on the video playing out of the virtual output. I have movie recorder that receives through the direct link from on the video the frames and it records the file and I can play the file in Edit While Ingest. So it's pretty easy to, uh, to test even if you don't have the hardware, you can already see what, how the, the software behaves. I'm showing that uh, and I explained all that in terms of testing, but of course this has not been done for testing. It's just something that is, can be used uh, like that. But just to explain quickly why it was done and, and what, what's the main use of the virtual output and direct link. Uh, this is mainly done for uh, web TVs. So if you're a web TV and you want to broadcast on the web, you don't need to have a, a video output and see that on the monitor. So we wanted to offer that to web TVs that they 
don't need to have a video device and this is how they will do and just in the destination uh, once it's it will be available uh, it's the HLS destination which will do a streaming so without any additional hardware on a Mac computer you'll be able to stream directly your program uh, thanks to on the video and all its scheduling capability um, but I demonstrated also here the use of the direct link and the virtual output. Uh, it's important to understand that it's, diff it's completely different. I could also, from on the video, if I had here a uh, real video output device, I could select it like an AJ Blackmagic or Delta Cast card. I could select it, play out to that uh, video output device and the on the video will still show in mover recorder so you can have the two at the same time it can be a regular tv station output to video and stream at the same time on the computer without the need to having to loop in again just a quick hint also the direct link works for on the video 3 and on the node 3 it doesn't work with on the video express 3. thanks for watching